Well, hi there, Frederico. How are you this morning? Huh? Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Very special day. I got old Frederick with me today. Oh, two day, two day, two day. Uh, good morning. Lots of gnats, if you can't tell already. Whew. I need to turn the slide off so I can get them out of my face. There goes another teal. That's the third one I've seen flying. We're sitting at five minutes before shooting light. We are out here. We are sat up, ready to go. I got the decoys all sat up. Here in a minute when we get set down, it's probably going to get hectic here at first shooting light. Uh, but once we get set down, I will, uh, I'm going to map out the walk-in. It was not a small trek. I definitely used the wrong entrance. I took the long way around, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, should have done a little better on my foot scouting yesterday. But here we are. Here's the spread. The gnats. There's no mosquitoes. It's just the gnats. Check out the beautiful Kansas sunrise. Oh, there goes another bird. I got to turn on the mojo and we got to sit down. Uh, had a buddy come here and hunt the other day by himself. Said he shot five with six mallard decoys. Uh, no spinner. And I'm like, I guess we're going to try it. So let's see what happens. Turn you on. There we go. So I think I carried in right at two dozen. Uh, probably 20 decoys. All teal decoys. I'll show you the spread a little better here in a little bit. There goes another teal behind me. I gotta check the time. Come on, Freddy. Let's go, let's go. I know. A lot of you are probably asking, where in the heck is Judge? Listen, I gotta get him freshened back up. Uh, with his paw being hurt, he was off training quite some time. So, uh, using some ducks, getting him freshened up before I bring him out on the hunt. You know what I mean? It's pretty rusty, so we gotta get him oiled back up before we just expect him to do good. So, that's my plan. We'll go back home at the end of this video. We will go back home and do some training with Judge together. Oh, dude, you just laying in the grass this morning? Yeah? You don't know about these gnats either. Been a while since old Frederick's been out. Really hoping it's gonna be light enough uh, to see the birds for the video camera, but I wanna tell you guys before we get started that uh, over at my podcast, Blind Talk Podcast, uh, me and old Preston, Oh, not only have we are already gave away a hunt uh, for October, I believe we're going to do it. We had to push it back because it was so warm. But now we're giving away almost every other episode something. Like uh, we're giving away um, five dozen Canada Goose Silhouette de decoys. We're giving away a dozen rigged Mallard Floater decoys. Uh, we're giving away multiple probably five at least right now of the high and dry utility poles that you guys have seen me using um they retail at like 140 a piece so awesome giveaways over there guys constantly i uh, really appreciate you guys supporting me over there i get to be myself i get to talk about what i want to uh what's going on in the world what's going on here at youtube in my life use the language i want so it is definitely an adult place so uh, thank you guys. The, uh, the podcast is always linked down below at the top of the description. Thank you guys. Go check it out for me. But solo hunt, me and old Frederick, y'all have been requesting it. We got two minutes to go. Smash a thumbs up. It only takes 0 .02 seconds. And there's still like 59% of y'all that have not hit the bell. The notification bell it'll notify you when your boy uploads it is hunting season y'all if you don't like it come back and just turn it off my buddy freddy sees them ducks don't you man i know you do i know your brother is at home and he is not happy with us we're gonna have to go back we're gonna have to throw him some ducks in the pond for him hopefully we shoot a couple huh can i have a pound dog can i have a pound dog oh thanks buddy well I'm just gonna check. <clears throat> I believe it is 6:49. I believe shooting light was 6:48. I will have to say that it is dark enough that I don't know if I feel confident pulling the trigger. Oh, one out for... Definitely a wood duck. Definitely. Oh no, that's a 
the freaking pintail right in front. Look at this pintail. Two pintails. So we got two pintails in the spread. Yesterday when I came and scouted, I seen probably two flocks of ten all pintail, but I did see a lot of teal, so pintails decoying in the teal spread. <laughs> That's pretty. Two dove. This could be a dove teal hunt for sure. Lots of dove out here, y'all. That was beautiful, the way both of those just decoyed. Oh. These gnats are insane. Oh, there they go. See you later, pintails. Now we got some light. Well, while I was sitting up, I probably only seen <coughs> five teal. Then we decoyed the two pintails, but I wanted to remind you guys really, really fast, man. Um, all of our public wetland areas here, you have to do an online check-in now. And uh, don't forget to do that. That's one thing that they're really wanting everyone to get used to doing is checking in online. It used to be that, uh, remember, still a lot of places do it, but you pull in and then you can fill out your little slip and put it in the box at the entrance right well now it's all online on our phones and uh, you, you really have to check in and check out uh, on your date so they just want to they want to know who's all there um, so they don't have to walk in I guess and so they can they can track bird numbers and the amount of hunters that are coming and going you know um, on a yearly basis so it's all for good reason. Again, you see me doing this. These gnats are just driving me insane. <laughs> uh, I should have brought my thermosel. At least there's no mosquitoes. That would suck. But I believe I'm the only one out here today. Pretty awesome. Not a gunshot fired. Mean old Frederick. Here are two doves. Big swing and a miss. Ooh, two teal got up right there. Wow, that was a thunder. That was a hammer. Wow, I'm not used to that bad boy. So I've been, I've been shooting. Oh, a bunch of birds got up. Lay down, lay down. Holy smoke. There's a ton of birds up to the left. Whoa! Oh, this could get crazy. This could get crazy. Red set. Oh, that's a good flock. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Lay down. There we go. Sit. We got teal in the spread. Got one. Fred, Fred, dead bird. I got one. Yes. That was a lot of birds. That was a lot of birds. Dead bird. Good, good boy. Smash that thumbs up for Freddy. Good dog, good. Lay down, lay down. <laughs> yeah. Had like three of them land. And this guy was really close. Man, I thought I got the second one. That was awesome. Here's another one right here. Sit, Fred. There he is, Fred! That was a shot. Mm. 
That was a shot. That was a really far shot. Oh my gosh. Come on, Freddy, you can do it, buddy. There we go. Second one. That was a long shot. That was definitely a, uh, at least a 45, 50 yard shot. I'll show you guys what ammo I'm using here in just a minute. Good boy here. Good. Drop. Ooh, got a green winger. Those were comorants, not cormorants, sorry. Got a green winger, baby. Look at that, beautiful green wing. Two in the bag, lay down, lay down. Wow, that was a shot. That was a good lead, holy cow. So, I scouted yesterday, I still haven't even cut the video. Come on guys, smash it, smash it. Here we go, three on the right, I gotta shut up. Sit, sit. Ooh. Lay down. That was a long shot, that was awesome. Holy smoke. Wow. Did that give me some confidence in this shot? Wow. So I am using, uh, dude, wow. I am using, which my favorite, I was using the two and three quarter, uh, four shot Federal Bismuth. Today I'm using the three inch, five shot Federal Bismuth and they are thunder. They are just hammers, baby. I love the two and three quarter for close action on the teal, but uh, yesterday when I scouted, I seen that the water was way away from the bank and that we were gonna be having at minimum a 20 yard, 25, 30 yard shot. So good call, good call, Bob. Pintails, there we go. This is already better than I was hoping, honestly. Don't come in with big ideas, just a decent game plan. Oh, scout, guys, you gotta scout. This was the hole that I seen, literally I seen the f one flock of pintails dump in this hole, and I'm like, hey, best thing I've seen all day. Sure enough. Whew, what time is it? It is 7.09. Heck yeah, um, two on the board still. Haven't seen much in the last 10 minutes. Um, I think that first couple of shots, you know, everything erupts. It gets situated away from the gunshots, whatever body of water that is that they choose. And then it calms down for a while. So, um, like I said on the last video, man, um, if the hunt isn't going good early, wait it out. You know, if you're not freezing your butt off, sweating your butt off, if you're just enjoying the morning, it's what it's about. A lot of people tend to get lost in the I have to limit fiasco. You don't have to limit. What you need to do is go have a good time and um, enjoy Mother Nature and your dog or your son or your friend or your dad. Take someone hunting. Today, it was just, this was all on a whim, really. I was like, I'm just gonna go, this is more, I chalked it up as this is gonna be more of a scout hunt, just to see what the bird bird population was. Pretty decent so far. Uh, but I bet you it will really calm down here. If we only, if we leave with two, hey, that's two more than I expected. Oh, I didn't bring a stool or anything, I was pretty overweight on the hike in already, and. Man, I've been sitting on my leg and it is asleep. I didn't think I'd be able to shoot very good <clears throat> sitting on the ground like this. Who knew? Old Fred, man, he deserves to get out here today. Him and him and Judge are gonna take turns, you know? Give them both uh, some hunting time. And But like I said, after this, we're gonna go home and uh, it's supposed to be 101 to get today, so Probably gonna have to do some training this evening with Judge, but um, put some ducks in Judge's mouth, shoot around him, get him healing, retrieving good again. After his paw incident, kind of messed him up and he's a little rusty, so we gotta get him back in shape. Um, over on the podcast, we're bringing on some special guests. 
as well as all the you know gear giveaways uh, we got some awesome sponsors over on the podcast that are um, doing some awesome giveaways for us over there for all you guys so uh, we got some awesome uh, like I said guests coming on as well from those companies so about to be uh, about to be on over at the podcast now that hunting season's here man the episodes are gonna get better and better and better flock of comorants coming at us <laughs> what is that snipe man them snipe will come in just like teal snipe rail they're probably rail actually That is beautiful. Big old flock of blackbirds. I do not know what type of blackbirds they are, but boy, that's a big flock of them. <laughs> Fred, could you imagine if all those were teal? Huh? I remember the last uh, time I hunted, I think the last time I hunted this pool pretty much right here uh, i bet you it was five years ago uh probably the first year i started the channel i bet and it was um wade brad and myself and wade that was when he first got uh his dog storm and uh, Came out here, I think we shot one or two between the three of us. This place was packed. I mean packed, we probably came on a weekend. Uh, packed, we couldn't even find a place to, uh, to sit up. We actually had to, uh, we had to sit up on this, on a puddle basically. And it was off the beaten path from where the birds wanted to be. And back then I just didn't like, I didn't, couple things I was probably lazy and I just didn't care enough to go scout on foot you know the next day's plan you know boy do I know now learned a lot since then I'll tell you what just gonna stay right there now Fred we took our thumb now we're all done buddy we're all done buddy yeah before I start picking up I want to show you guys this Ducks came out. We came out with our own ducks carabiners. They got a uh, awesome grip right there, foam. So when you sling them over your shoulder and you got that mile walk in, that foam, man, it helps a lot. Let's get picked up. My decoys guys I know I've showed you this before and a lot of you do it but I cinch it down as far down as I can close enough to them decoys just tie it so then they can't get tangled up boom that's where you landed <sighs> oh, literally just turned off the camera Another single green wing just went right by me, landed right where the one that I thought I might have connected with, where he landed. That tells me that's the same bird. That's where he likes to be down there. Dude, that bird that I missed five minutes ago, it landed right there, literally right there. That's only about a 15 yard shot. I thought I had it in the bag. I do not know what happened there, you know. Before we get going here, I want to show you where I was sitting. Oh, by the way, 
my brand new, brand new, first time used hip waders that I bragged about leak. They definitely don't have a hole in them, but they definitely leak like right here on the seam somewhere. Awesome. But this is where, this is where I was sitting today. Uh, long walk, long walk in, long walk out. Um, pack light guys on these walk-in public hunts pack light um, I didn't bring a stool I didn't bring a bucket it was just unnecessary picked this little tree sat in front of it had really good shade all morning just sat right on my butt and uh, it's all you need you don't need to bring a blind a panel blind a I, I've seen dudes out here uh, in past years in freaking lay down blinds dude why would you need lay down blinds when you have all of this cover just to sit in i have no idea don't overthink things right make it easy on yourself it's public land especially on weekends guys when you guys are going out there on a weekend just know other people are too so that's going to be the main competition it's not going to be about how good you're hiding okay the one thing is there's going to be other shooting going on, other spreads that are trying to draw attention and, and shoot ducks just like you. Don't pack heavy, pack light, pick up all your shells, which I am going to do right now. Gosh, that is, I bet you 40 yards away, I could see it all morning long. I'm glad I just seen it again because I want to make this a reminder to y'all. I could see them. 40 yards away. There's one, really fresh. 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 20 gauge, 12 gauge. I could see them all the way from where I was sitting. Plain as day, red and yellow, just staring at me. Guys, it is the law. It is the rules to pick up all of your empty shells, your trash, your cans, your wrappers, everything. Pick it up. Don't forget. Don't go, oh, I forgot. No, that should be that should be the one thing you do before you pack up. Pick up your shells. Oh, just like I promised. Oh, come here, buddy. You got a lot of stickers in your paws. Yeah, he's not used to these stickers. You're all right, big boy. He, he, he gets so scared because of these stickers back here. You're just sick of having your feet all messed up, aren't you? Come on. All right, we got Judge. We got a gun. We got his collar on. We got our two birds. We're back here at the pond, and we got a tripod. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend a little while before it gets too hot here. Just got back home from the hunt. Um, we're going to build up judge's confidence again uh, he's very unconfident because of his paw and because he hasn't been working so we're going to sharpen him up with some actual ducks get that taste in his mouth all right me and judge have not done a lot of work together with me wielding the gun and shooting the gun right heel come on judge heel let's go good boy sit sit so what I'm going to do is throw the bird, shoot the gun, send him. But first, we need to get him happy. A big hay up, get him happy and ready to go. Hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up. Go get him. Good boy. Oh, he's fired up now. That's all he needed. Good. I've got better with the whistle. Here, let's go. Good boy. All right. Judge. He jumps off that cliff. Good. So this is the repetition we need to get in right here. Just short gunshots. Kind of wanders around on the bank. Come on. We got to get you quick. Good. Set. Drop. Good. Set. Judge! Alright, now 
we're making progress. This is what we need right here. Good! Good. Good boy, good. Good boy. Real birds, man. That's what he needs. Judge! Good! Set. Yep, well, we gotta get him sharpened up. Set. He'll stay. All right, I'm trying to think what we can do different. I really wish I, I had some help, someone out there to throw it a little farther away, you know, but it's about all we, all we got right now. Good set, good set, good boy, set. I'm gonna get right next to him like it's gonna be. Good boy, set, good. That's a good boy, good set. Judge! God, he! Here! Let's go! Here, heel! Come on, let's go! Good boy! Good! Good boy! Good boy, set! That's a good boy. All right. Now he needs some encouragement. A little bit of hay up. Hay up, hay up, hay up, hay up, hay up. Come on, come on. Hay up, hay up, hay up, hay up. Go get him. That's just a confidence builder. Good. Here. Let's go. Heel. There we go. Now he's got some pep in his step. Drop. All right. Sit. 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 Good, straight line to the other bank through the water. All righty, now we're getting somewhere. Heel. Go boy. Go boy, heel. Good dog. Go boy. Go boy. All righty, it's starting to get hot. That'll do it for this morning. Always end it on a good note, a good A up. A up, A up, A up, A up. A -up. Get him. He is so attentive. Hi. He's so sweet. He's got the same demeanor as Fred. Just simple, sweet boy that just wants his lovings and wants to work, don't you? He's ready. He's ready to go. We are uh, we're gonna do a couple more training sessions just like that, but that's what we need. We need ducks and judge's mouth and uh, just getting us reestablished. Man, we were we were pretty sharp until his um, he split his paw open. Now he's extra healed up and ready to go. So the next uh, teal hunt, man, we're gonna get Judge out there, especially on a morning hunt. Uh, most of them are morning hunts. I do wanna try an evening hunt once the cold front comes in. I say cold front, I should say cool front. Uh, it's gonna be back down in the 50s and 60s at night, but uh, here in a few days and, and the, the hunting should pick up. So 
stick around plenty of videos to come I'm gonna be doing a uh, the next one will probably be a 20 gauge with judge that's what I'm wanting to do on the next one so you guys have requested judge and the 20 gauge a bunch so that's what we're gonna do like I told you I want to make the videos that you guys want to see most that's what I want to do the boy Bodie my son oh yeah he's never been on a duck hunt he's only ever been on goose hunts and pigeon hunts and dove hunts he's never been on a duck hunt so we got to get him out there too but thank you guys for being here subscribe if you haven't so many new people here thank you all for uh for being here and subscribing we've been getting a lot of subscribers lately um and i just want to say thank you thank you for trusting me with the old subscribe button you uh you will not be disappointed um I, i'm always giving my tips my duck hunting tips my goose hunting tips hunting in general hunting safety do's and don'ts things to remember you know oh and by the way i did check out of the public land uh registry if you want to call it that online register you got to check in and check out of these walk-in public places so if your state wants you to do that do it you got to do it it is the law it's what they're requiring of us now so don't skip that part hope you all are getting out there enjoying uh the beginning of hunting season lots of hunting to come guys the we start guiding in about a month and a half right under a month and a half actually so it's gonna get crazy we hunt all season long three and a half months long and uh, it's non-stop waterfowl action so i got me a new deer lease and uh i'm hopefully gonna get a big one on the ground too so deer hunting contents on the way as well like i said earlier check out the podcast we're always doing awesome giveaways over there uh products like the uh the utility pole from high and dry decoys floaters silhouettes you name it we're doing it over there go check it out thank you guys for always supporting me tiktok doesn't support me they just deleted my entire page for whatever reason because i'm hunting you know how that goes but until next time Gone, I've been getting late.